Joining me now is Sharon Alexander, the president of Sun Summit Minerals. Sharon, it's great to see you again. Hi, Mark. Thanks for having me. Now, last time we spoke was uh, near the start of the year, and, and you said, Sharon, the 23 was going to be a very active, very busy year for Sun Summit, and you've delivered on that. Uh, the company has completed a property-wide exploration program at the, at the Buck Project in BC. Uh, so can you give us a, a sense and an overview of the work that's been done and how you've been expanding the resource? So I believe the last time we spoke was in uh, January of, of 2023. So it was really at the beginning of the year and uh, we were planning a pretty uh, uh, extensive program on the Buck property. So what we ended up doing is we had a drill program on uh, two targets, which we had pulled out from uh, a pipeline of exploration targets. So these were uh, targets that we saw anomalies in geophysics and geochemistry. So we drilled two of those targets, never before been drill tested. So expanding the discovery potential of the Bach project itself. And then during the summer, we did a pretty substantial exploration program around the Bach main system, as well as the new property that we acquired from TAC, the CR. So in terms of Bach main itself, we've recently finished a drill program. We worked through the summer and into the fall. Uh, we released the majority of those drill holes. They were uh, majority, uh, mostly step out drill holes to the north and to the, uh, the northwest, where we saw a lot of expansion potential in the previous drill programs. Uh, so we completed uh, 13 drill holes for just, just over 3,500 meters. And uh, we're awaiting four uh, drill hole results from that program. So that, that news will be coming out shortly. All right, very good. Now, uh, you've said that you're planning to come out with a, a mineral resource update sometime in Q1 of next year, where you'll be uh, combining these drilling results with historical data. Uh, I know you can't give the numbers, you don't exactly know them yet, but what can investors generally expect when, when the MRE comes out? Yeah, this is something I'm really excited about. I was, I was, uh, I would have loved to have put a, a resource estimate on this project. And I'm very happy that we're that we're going ahead with this. I think it'll really show uh, investors uh, the ounce potential that is here. In total, we now have uh, 90, 97 drill holes for just over 35,000 meters. So, and then in addition, you mentioned some historical drill holes as well. So we can use a lot of those in, in the resource. So just to note, this is an initial uh, MRE or, or resource estimate. The system is still open in all directions. And so uh, we're hoping at this point to get a sense of the kind of ounces that are in the ground, um, what kind of mining scenarios there would be, if it'd be open pits, what the, the pit shells look like, uh, and then as well can help us for additional drilling and targeting, doing some infill drilling uh, as we do subsequent resource estimates. So, so this is really the first step and it's a significant milestone for the company. And I think it'll go a long way to show uh, the potential of this asset that we know we're getting these long intercepts of, of continuous uh, mineralization right from surface. Uh, it has the size and scale uh, that we're looking for that are found in, in similar kind of bulk tonnage systems uh, like the Blackwater gold mine, for example. Uh, and I think the MRE will, will go a long way to show that we really believe in this project and we really do see the, the potential here. In the meantime, uh, Sharon, uh, you're going to continue drilling. Uh, you're alluding to it there, the, the fact that there, there is still significant uh, upside potential in terms of the, the buck uh, resource. So what can you tell us about the fall drilling program? Yeah, so we we targeted um, using our geological and structural model, we targeted some areas that uh, were thought to have some kind of uh, structural controls like faults and shear zones. Um, those areas that previously we have been successful at finding high grade mineralization, as well as areas, uh, step out uh, drill holes where we could target some of this disseminated mineralization. So more of that bulk tonnage uh, grades, uh, half, a, half a gram to uh, 0.7 uh, gram per ton gold. Uh, and we were quite successful in, in finding uh, new areas, especially to the Northwest and to the North. Um, of course, we have four drill holes yet to be released. And uh, once we have those out, all of the drill holes will be released. And of course, that'll all be incorporated into uh, 
the resource estimate. So it, it's a pretty exciting time and we think there is a lot of upside here. So we're already a kilometer strike length or about uh, 700 meters width dimensions and it's open at depth as well. Now you touched on the uh, CR project which you bought from Tech Resources. Uh, you call this a drill ready copper molybdenum uh, mine essentially. So uh, what can you what can you tell us? What are, what are the details? What are the highlights of CR? We were really excited to get the, the CR project. So we closed that in June of this year. Uh, it's something that, uh, you know, we had known that Tech had this project. Um, they were active, I believe, the last time in 2019. We had been in contact with them over the years, and it's, and it's something that we were able to acquire this year. So unlike the Buck project, which is uh, we're in the fourth year of a five-year earn-in agreement, this is 100% owned by Sun Summit, so it's additional 9,000 hectares. Uh, tech and previous companies have done drilling here, mostly into a porphyry, uh, a copper molybdenum porphyry. And so there were several drill holes that had intercepts of uh, 50 to 100 meters, or even 150 meters of you know, 0 0.3, 0 0.5% copper. Uh, some holes ended in mineralization, so, you know, uh, half a percent of copper. And so definitely there's a copper molybdenum uh, system here. But then in addition, it, it's it's also the same ground that we have at the Buck Project, which has a lot of precious metal, um, uh, you know, potential as well. And so we've been successful at finding some additional gold mineralization. Uh, as well, this summer, we did identify a new zone of copper mineralization to the southeast of some of the historic drilling uh, and so it, it's a pretty exciting area. Definitely, we're going to be focusing on that uh, in, in the upcoming programs. It has a lot of potential, not only for copper, but for precious metals as well. We're in a really great uh, porphyry belt. It's, it's a great jurisdiction. There's a lot of, uh, you know, precious metals and silver uh, and base metals in this area. So there's a lot of previously producing mines and active exploration going on. So there's a lot of commodities uh, and a lot of uh, systems here that can produce economic mineralization. And so we're very excited to keep exploring. And lastly, Sharon, it's been a challenging market to say the least for a junior explorers but against that backdrop what is the, the message to investors what's the the 45 second elevator pitch so to speak on on sun summit minerals yeah it's definitely been a, a trying time in the market i know a lot of companies are seeing a similar uh share price drop and and their their stock charts uh you know have been declining there's been a lot of selling we're getting to tax loss season as well I think with Sun Summit, uh, we're just focusing on the assets that we have, the Buck Main system. We're going to be putting that mineral resource estimate. So we're going to find out by Q1 next year uh, how many ounces are actually contained in the ground and what a mining scenario looks like. It'll help us plan additional drilling. Uh, we have the CR project, which we just picked up, which we have not drilled yet. So that's a pretty exciting target coming up. And then as well, we're always looking for additional uh, shareholder value opportunities for shareholder value to increase. Um, there's We're in a really great jurisdiction. Uh, infrastructure can't be beat. We drive right to the drill rig. So uh, as soon as things turn around, we'll be ready. And uh, yeah, just stay tuned for more news. All right. Well, you delivered uh, this past year for sure. And we look forward to the next update. Sharon, great seeing you. And uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks. Sharon Alexander, president of Sun Summit Minerals. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.